Hey, what is up guys? Nell is here from Nuxtech and today we're gonna do some gaming tests on a Xiaomi Mi Note 10 running Snapdragon 730G. In case you have missed my previous unboxing and first impressions video, don't forget to check it out later and definitely subscribe to my channel as in upcoming days I will release camera, battery life and charging tests. So one of the disappointments and most common complaints Xiaomi received after launching Mi Note 10 was regarding its mid-range Snapdragon 730G chip instead of flagship 855. Now as the letter G stands for gaming, let's figure out how well this 108 megapixel camera beast phone can perform in most popular mobile games. Of course, I will include more demanding games such as Call of Duty, PUBG, Fortnite, Real Racing and few more. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mi UI 11 comes with a game speed booster app where you will find all the installed games, however settings you can modify there is very limited. You can generally turn on or off game speed booster, in-game shortcuts, performance optimization and restrict full screen gestures during the game. Add to this, you can individually change settings for each game by adjusting touch response, sensitivity to repeated taps, increase contrast level and enhance details based on your preference. Now let's jump to the testing part. Inside the Call of Duty game settings, we can actually set graphics to very high, however 60 FPS can be unlocked only to go with a high graphics. Let's leave Death of Field and Real Time Shadow on and let the battle begin. As you can see, the game on these settings runs pretty smooth, and I didn't experience any noticeable FPS dropouts. Within some time, I have noticed phone getting a bit warmer, hitting somewhere around 50s, and it's very good result. Lowering graphics to medium, turning off shadows as well as depth of field doesn't make any difference, so I guess it's better to keep my first few settings as FPS was really stable. Things a bit changed on more demanding PUBG Mobile. Here we could choose 30 FPS with HD graphics and more enjoyable 40 FPS in a balanced mode. I instantly noticed a huge difference in gameplay smoothness as previously I used to play this game on my OnePlus 7 Pro. And as long as graphic details doesn't matter that much for me, the 40 and 60 FPS difference feels like day and night. Honestly, I would go to lower settings just to get those 60 FPS, but for that you will need at least Snapdragon 835. While I was preparing this video review, I have accidentally found some interesting information for PUBG Mobile fans. Currently, Chinese beta version of this game supports up to 120 FPS, meaning you could actually take advantage if you own a phone with a higher refresh rate display. Global update should be released just in a month, so keep saving money to upgrade for OnePlus, Razer or Asus ROG phone. Having said that, there is actually a way you can play 60fps on Snapdragon 730G. Just download GFX Tool app from Google Play Store, set FPS on 60 and run the game through this app. Very easy. Much better than 40fps mode, however at the cost of some stability from time to time. Temperatures meanwhile stays below 60s even after a longer play time. So I guess Fortnite Mobile is the most demanding game by now and owning a phone with Snapdragon 730G will only allow you to choose between low and medium graphic settings with locked 30fps, as for 60fps you need the latest Snapdragon 855. The game is of course playable, however for more competitive players I would suggest buying more powerful phone.
NBA 2K Mobile really sucks on a high settings, so due to that I had to go with a default high. I have also tried lowering to a medium, however I didn't notice any huge difference. It seems like a game itself is not really well optimized, as I have also tried to run with my OnePlus 7 Pro and it was still choppy. When I played some racing games such as Gear Club, Asphalt 9, Real Racing 3, I was more than satisfied with gameplay smoothness as FPS was fluctuating somewhere between 45 to 60 FPS depending on a game. Good news for Arena Fallout players. You can find and switch to 60 FPS in settings menu and it will run perfectly with no lag at all. Of course, it's gonna drain your battery faster, however don't forget that this Mi Note 10 has a massive 5260 mAh battery. So after 4 hours since full charge and approximately 2.5 hours of intense gaming, I was still having over 50% left. That's what I'm talking about. To wrap things up, Mi Note 10 with a Snapdragon 730G is not a bad phone when it comes to the gaming experience. The 6GB RAM model has a score of over 250 thousandths in Antutu 2 8 benchmark. And yes, the main focus of this phone is still a camera, which I'll test more in upcoming days, but in case you're time to time player of such games as Call of Duty, PUBG Mobile, Arena Feller and other A titles, you'll be happy with pretty smooth 60fps gameplay. Take a note that there are still many games that are locked to 30fps, no matter what phone you have, however with some third party apps or tools you can easily get access to more enjoyable higher refresh rates. So that is it for this time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for upcoming Mino 10 videos. This is Nellis from Nuxtech and I will see you next time.